Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Antonisha and this is Disciple Her Ministry. And as you can see from the title, it is my 37th birthday. Well, today is not my 37th birthday. Today is Tuesday. My birthday is on Friday, but when you guys are watching this, it will be my 37th birthday. And I figured it would be a perfect time to just do a reflection, if you will. Um, not quite a full life update or ministry update, but just to kind of let you guys know what is going on, what's going to be happening, um, and just just all the things, just a quick chit chat. I have some quick bullet points of things I don't want to forget to mention, but other than that, this is really unscripted, and I apologize about this lighting, but this is what happens when I wait until five o'clock <laughs> to film a video. I have no more natural light, like I have this big, huge window, and I have no natural light because it's dark outside, so... It's either this ugly lighting or it's dark and you can't see me at all. So with that being said, um, I, like I said, just wanted to just chit chat a little bit um, and update you guys about um, what, not necessarily what's been happening. Um, if you want more like personal life updates and things like that, definitely subscribe to our family channel. Um, I have it linked below. I just uploaded a video this past Sunday um, with an update um, in case you did not know we moved from our studio um, apartment, studio unit that we were in to a one, a full one bedroom. As you can see, we have a door that can close. Thank you, Jesus. Because without that, I would not have this privacy to be able to film videos. My husband and I wouldn't have privacy either, but I wouldn't have this um, privacy to be able to close a door and film videos and get some work and stuff done. So so grateful so very grateful for that but um i filmed a whole video where i did a tour of our studio of what we had done to it so far in the two weeks or so that we had been in it um and then i did an empty ish like empty of our stuff tour of this one bedroom apartment and just kind of explain some of my thoughts on that so if you are interested in that definitely um check out the link below for our family channel um i have plans for a lot more videos on that channel and this channel actually more on this channel this month and um i haven't quite fully finished figuring out what 2024 is going to look like um but um there's a lot of things that are going to factor into that including um bible beauty co we now have a youtube channel and so i will be posting content to that channel as well as jasmine and shelby and just other things but if you want more life updates and to know kind of what's going on with the family what's going on with our tiny space living um our home buying journey all of that then definitely subscribe to the family channel um this main channel i have been talking about it before but this main channel i want to get back to um my two passions i want this channel to be my passion and not work not um you know all of those things nothing that i have to stress about the analytics and how things look and all of that i just want it to be fun i want it to be the creative outlet that i've always intended intended for it to be and so this channel we'll be going back to primarily planning and um, bookish things. So basically how when I originally combined my booktube channel and this channel and I was doing planning and bookish things, that's what this is going back to. Um, this channel is actually going to get rebranded slightly because Disciple Her Ministry is not going away. Um, Disciple Her Ministry, the LLC, the business is not going away. I am doing some rebranding with that as well. Disciple Her Ministry will be specifically on my website. I'm actually going to be switching platforms. I have not decided on that yet. I'm thinking Shopify just because it'll allow me to sell um, some of the digital products that I already have, um, some digital downloads that I already have. A lot of them will be going away. I'll talk about that in another video, but it'll also, um, I want to write more. So I want to have kind of a website that will allow me to maybe write and blog and publish some articles on my own website in addition to being able to um, have things for sale. And I know that Shopify will allow me to do that. I know Squarespace um, will allow me to do that as well. So I just need to spend some time comparing the two, seeing what I want to do with that. But just know that um, more updates will be coming about Disciple Her Ministry as a ministry, as a business. Um, that is definitely not going anywhere. But what I realize is the type of things that I'm doing with Disciple Her Ministry, I don't necessarily need a dedicated YouTube channel and um, I will probably go like too far in between making videos if that's the only thing I use this channel for. I am intending to keep, I was thinking about getting rid of my Disciple Her Ministry Instagram 
But I'm thinking about keeping that because that I can share a lot more of just my faith stuff if I wanted to. But um, this channel, like I said, um, so I will be rebranding it probably to just my name, Antonisha Polite Peoples. Um, and this one is going to be about good books and godly goals. So you guys will probably see that change. Um, I'm probably going to change it like over Christmas time and have it ready for the new year. Um, but yeah, so that's what's happening with this. And then we have the Bible Beauty Co. YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed, definitely subscribe. I will have it linked below. I will have it linked below every um, video going forward on this channel and on my family channel as well. And um, I'm just, I'm really excited that so Bible Beauty Co. has a YouTube channel. Um, Yasmin, our fearless leader, has been leading the Monday morning kickstarts on the Bible Beauty Co. YouTube channel. And I've, I just absolutely love seeing it. I have been in the comments. I'm normally working um, on Mondays at nine. And so I can't can't be on camera. I don't even know. Yes, of course, YouTube, you can do it. But anyways, I'm normally in the in the comments and everything. So I would love to see you guys on the Monday morning kickstart. We have um, some products and things coming with that. I don't know how much I can share and I don't want to get in trouble from yeah uh, with Yasmin and Shelby. So we have some things coming with that that I will be sharing on this channel as well. But um, I'm just I'm loving these three different channels and these three different spaces um, to be a little more dedicated. Um, my, our family channel is about our faith, our family, and our finances. So I will be sharing faith things um, on that channel as well. Um, I just feel like it's a better space for it than this channel necessarily. You will still see my faith come through because my faith is the foundation of my life, of everything that I do. But um, things like Bible study with me type videos, um, the Genesis Bible study, I will be continuing that in the new year. That will be on the family channel. So I will make, um, I'll probably do a community post on this channel, letting you guys know when I restart it. Um, and so I will just start, um, pick that back up in the new year on the family channel. And I will just add those videos to the playlist that's already on this channel. And then I'll create a playlist. So I'm not going to take any of the Genesis videos that are currently on this channel off the channel. It, is, it just doesn't make any sense YouTube wise. Um, I'm just going to put the new ones on the playlist. So if you're on this channel looking for the Genesis um, study, you'll see the new videos as they pop up on that Genesis playlist. And then vice versa, if you are on the family channel looking for the older Genesis videos, it'll be on a playlist on that channel it'll just link you back over here so um there is that um speaking of bible beauty co all bible beauty co things will be linked below so again going forward um this video all videos going forward there will be a link to the bible beauty co youtube channel the instagram the website the sisterhood if you are someone who is needing it's not even just a wanting but needing a sisterhood to just do life and do faith with i highly 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 encourage you to join the bible beauty code sisterhood again i will have it linked below you guys hear me talk about it here and there but um y'all y'all just do not understand in this past year in all of the madness and the craziness and everything that has happened how beneficial is not even the word I, like i cannot even think of the word how uh, just life giving the sisterhood has been for me um, just to for just friends to just lean on just Yasmin and Shelby in our staff chat and even you know just the other women in the sisterhood um, when I would pop in every now and then I kind of ghosted for a little bit trying to reorient ourselves but just having that sisterhood has just been um, it's just like I can't even put I literally cannot put it into words how much I needed that and it's one of those things where you don't know what you need until you actually need it and it was just such a beautiful blessing for that sisterhood to be there when I needed it and I didn't even know that I needed it and um, as I have been slowly getting back into the sisterhood getting back into um, my staff role at BBC and just all the things it just like Oh, y'all just don't understand. It's just been such a blessing. So if you are needing a sisterhood like that, then definitely check out the BBC uh, sisterhood. Again, we'll have it linked below. Um, the other thing I wanted to update you guys on is I finished my chronological Bible reading plan. Y'all, I am so excited. So today is December 5th that I'm filming this. So I finished it officially two days ago on Sunday, December 3rd. I... Mm, I it it just felt really good like I had never prior to this I had never read the Bible in its entirety I have read almost all of the New Testament a lot of the Old Testament I have deep studied many books of the Bible but I had never read it in its entirety 
And I had started it, start and stopped many years, those Bible in a year plans where it's like a little bit of Old Testament, a little bit of New Testament, a proverb and a psalm. I've tried to do those, but it they are just very, very disjointed. And to be honest with you, I don't recommend those plans unless you've already read through the entire Bible before. Um, I've even tried to read cover to cover and that didn't work for me. But going through chronologically, because again, you guys know I'm a history buff. I love history. So reading the accounts of the Bible in the order that they actually happened just made so much more sense. It was just so, it was like just so rewarding. And um, it took me a year and a half. So I started towards the end of August of 2023. I just finished December, 2024. So I will be doing um, a final video on my um, Bible in a year. Um, reading plan series that I have on this channel. And um, I will we'll probably do another flip through of my Bible. Just let me know if you guys want to see that. Um, I would say probably the past five months or so, most of my reading has been audibly. So I've been listening to it. And that is what helped me get through because what was happening, it's not a bad thing, but what was happening is as I was reading through, especially in the Old Testament, I would stop and study and look things up. And it was it was slowing me down. And I hate saying that because it sounds like it's a bad thing. But it's the reason why I didn't finish the plan in a year. If I had just read through, I probably would have finished in a year. But um like I said, I started just listening to it audibly and um, listening to it, like driving to get the kids from school, sitting in the car rider line here lately, the past month or so. I've been listening to it while I while I'm at work. I'm a housekeeper. And so I'm just I'm just working pretty much by myself all day. And so um, I just listen to it. I just play it on speakerphone on my phone. Um, I've had guests walking through the hallway that have commented um, that they were happy that, to just hear me playing the Bible. So that was definitely a, a beautiful positive thing that came out of it but I just listened to it and I finished it and it is just like it it just feels really good to say okay um I've read through the entire bible now this is definitely not going to be my last time like God willing I would love to read through the bible many more times in my life but that this first time feels really special so um like I said I'll do an update on in the series it'll be on this channel so I can just finish out the series on this channel and like I said let me know in the comment section below if you want me to actually flip through my bible um there is not very much in the New Testament as far as notes and stuff that wasn't already there from me studying different things. So y'all just let me know if y'all want to see another flip through of my Bible. I do have a lot of notes. Um, my shoulder injury, unfortunately, has been getting worse because I work in housekeeping and I'm using my dominant arm all the time. So I don't take my big physical Bible to church anymore. I just take my iPad. because I already have to take my iPad because I have the notes for my Sunday school lessons that I'm teaching. But um, I have a digital journaling Bible and I just take all of my sermon notes and everything here. Um, Wednesday nights when I go to Bible study, I do that as well. Um, and I have a lot of notes I need to transfer into my physical Bible. And I know it seems redundant, but it actually allows me to highlight and write out the full sermon notes and just take a lot of just things that pop into my head while my pastor is preaching. I can write all of that in my digital journaling Bible. And then it allows me to come home and really dig in a little bit more and study more. And then I can be more, um, selective with what I put in my Bible. So that has been working out. Um, but like I said, all of that to say, I have not transferred notes into my physical Bible in a couple months now. So I got a lot of catching up to do on that. I'm hoping to get that done before I film the video um, closing out my chronological Bible reading plan. So there'll be more notes for you guys to see um, if you're interested in that. Um, anything else that I want to update you guys on? I'm just, I'm really looking forward to just this new year, this new season um, that not just me, but my family is going into um, this this move, although unexpected, although completely unplanned and um, very upsetting in the beginning has been um, it's it's just been so many unexpected blessings that, you know, my husband and I are constantly talking about, like we have grown more as a family. My kids have grown more. Um, I've said this before. My mother-in-law was living with us in our old house. And when she moved in with us, probably about a year and a half, almost two years before we just moved, um, she took my oldest son's bedroom. And so all three of my boys were in the same room and they had a triple bunk. And that experience brought them closer together. But it was a pretty large room they were in. I mean, we had triple bunk and we had two separate uh, desks and there's just a lot of space. But being in this smaller space, like I said, it has brought our family. Our family has always been pretty close, but it's brought us closer. But it's really brought my boys closer together, especially as my youngest is getting 
getting older. Um, like he's playing video games now. And so just to see them hanging out together and if you got kids of different ages and stages, you know, a five-year-old, a seven-year-old, and a 13-year-old typically don't want to hang out with each other. So to see all three of them hanging out with each other and just playing video games and just doing their thing has been really cool. Um, this has also allowed my husband and I to get more focused on things that we've always wanted to do, but we kept putting off for one reason or another. My husband was just mentioning, like, you just don't realize how disconnected your family can be when you're in such a large house and everyone is going away to their own space. Um, and so in a space like this where you have to come, you have to be together, um, it makes us want to be together even more. And so just doing things like family devotionals and family movie times, like this past Saturday, we just made the decision to do absolutely nothing and we all just hung out in the living room playing Mario Kart and Smash Brothers and just playing video games together and watching TV together. And it was just, it was amazing. So, um, as I said, a lot of unexpected blessings have come from this whole, um, this whole situation, this whole process. And we're very excited to see what is going to come, um, in the future, in the next year. Um, I will definitely say, and I talked about it on the, um, video on the family channel, being able to move into this unit, we have uh, way more space, almost twice the square footage, I want to say, which is still small in the grand scheme of things. Uh, maybe not quite twice the space. We so I think we still have like 500, less than five, 500 or less square feet. Um, whereas downstairs, we have like 300 square feet. So not quite double the space, but almost. And having the privacy of a door being closed and all of that, this is my, I remember my husband said it like, we have doors, we have doors we can walk in and out of and stuff like that. And so it just makes it feel more like home. And so this is, has made us even more settled in um, the sense that, okay, however long this season is, we're good. Um, we know that God is providing and, um, and is directing our path and we're good. And like I said, just having this extra space just helped us settle even more. And, you know, this is home for us and we are okay with that. We don't feel like we are just in this for a season and we're just trying to get through it. Um, Yasmin had mentioned on the Monday morning kickstart, something I had said in my video, um, that's on the family channel. Like we are going to thrive here because we understand that this is where God has placed us. And so we are not so focused on, hey, we need to, you know, get to the end of this journey and get to the destination. We understand that God has us here for a reason. And so we are more interested in enjoying the process and enjoying the journey and learning the things that God wants us to learn in this process. And so, um, and that applies to a lot of things. That applies to our family, that applies to our finances and home buying, but that applies to us individually. Um, I'm in this place with ministry, with BBC, with Disciple Her Ministry, and um, with ministry work at church, and just just being content in the space that God has put me in, and just basically looking at it, just shifting my mindset to say, okay, God, what do you want me to learn in this moment? What do you want me to do? Because even this job, this is not a job that I would have chosen to work in housekeeping, but that has been a blessing in and of itself. I would have known that this unit existed if I didn't work here because it's not advertised on the website. I've met some amazing people, a lot of them believers, some of them not believers, and just being able to, you know, not even necessarily actively share the gospel, but to just just to do life with them as I'm working here. And like I said, I walk around with my Bible playing or with my worship music playing. And, you know, every now and then I'll see someone look at me and just crack a smile because, you know, it just it's just little things like that. So it's just it's been a um, it's been a good learning experience. And I'm just excited to go into this next year of my life, um, just embracing all the things that God has for me. Um, as far as content and all of that, like I said, we have the family channel, Bible Beauty Co has its channel, um, and we will be talking on Bible Beauty Co more about what's to come. We have a YouTube collaboration coming at the end of this month that I'm really excited about, and um, we will be going live, we being me, Shelby, and uh, Yasmin, will be going live at the end of this month slash beginning of January, just to share more about what's coming with BBC. But then, like I said, on our family channel, um, we just, we have some videos planned for that. And I have quite a few, quite a few, like almost, I think it's like three videos a week coming on this channel this month. And I think the last week of the month, like between Christmas and New Year's, I think I have a video going up every day. I told you guys I wanted to do um, Vidmas. And then obviously with everything happening, I couldn't commit to Vidmas. But as I sat down and planned out the videos that I did want to make wrapping up the end of the year, it, there were a lot of them. And I, I, I just I didn't want to cut any of them out. So there's going to be a lot of videos, like I said, for the next two weeks or so is probably going to be like three videos a week. And then that last week of the month, 
last week of the year as well good lord it's so crazy saying that um there will be a video going up i think every day that week but all that say a lot of content coming most of it like i said is planner and bookish related um one thing i will say is i have switched back to digital planning so that is one of the videos about like why i switch what's going on with that um i will talk more in that video about what i'm using and things like that but i think that's all I think that's all that I have for you guys. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please leave them in the comment section below. I knew, I, I know I threw a lot of things. I told y'all this was not scripted. It was just off the top of my head, just reflecting on what has happened, what I am expecting um, to happen in the next couple months, year or so. And, um, you know, we'll just see. We'll just see what, what, what God makes happen because that's all I can do. I have no control over it. <laughs> most things um i just let god do his thing and i just follow his lead so if you guys have any questions um comments concerns video ideas for this channel for um the family channel anything like that i always say leave them in the comment section below if you are not subscribed to the channel i don't understand why not so go ahead and subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you all in the next one bye